TV. Let us continue learning while staying at home. I am Teacher Angeline, your facilitator for this lesson in personal development. In your previous lessons, you have learned the connections between thoughts, feelings, and behavior. And now, let us learn and discuss the challenges in middle and late adolescence. Before we proceed, let us know the objectives of our lesson. First, discuss developmental tasks and challenges being experienced in adolescence. Second, evaluate one's development through the help of significant people around him or her. What is adolescence? Adolescence is a period of transition when the individual changes. It's either physically and psychologically. That is from a child to an adult. It is a period when rapid physiological and psychological changes demand new social roles to take place. Prior to these changes, the adolescents often face a number of crises and dilemmas. It is the period when the child moves from dependency to autonomy. It demands significant adjustment to the physical and social changes. Some believe that each stage of life is marked by specific crises or conflict between competing tendencies. If individuals know how to negotiate each of these hurdles successfully, they can develop a normal and healthy way of life. During this phase, adolescents must integrate various roles in the consistent self-identity. If they fail to do so, they may experience confusion over who they are. Let's take a look at the challenges of middle and late adolescence. As Ericsson in his outline on the developmental task of adolescents include the development of a sense of mastery, identity, and intimacy. Others also add the establishment of autonomy, management of sexuality and intimacy, and finding a niche for oneself in education and work. The developmental tasks were elaborated in the following. First, there's a shift in relationship with parents from dependency and subordination to one that reflects the adolescent's increasing maturity and responsibilities in the family and the community. Second, the exploration of new roles that is both social and sexual. Third, the experience of intimate partnerships. Fourth, Identity formation of both the social and personal levels. Fifth, planning one's future and taking the necessary steps to pursue plans. And lastly, acquiring range of skills and values needed to make a successful transition into adulthood. So now, let us identify the changes during adolescence. These changes may be experienced by most of you as adolescents at your age right now. So first, we have the physical and biological changes. Under this, you experience dramatic changes in the shape of their bodies an increase in gonadal hormones, and changes in brain architecture. Another major biological change during this period between puberty and young adulthood is in the frontal lobes of the brain, responsible for such functions as self-control, judgment, emotional regulation, 
organization, and planning. During early adolescence, youth experience dramatic changes in the shape of their bodies, increase in gonadal hormones, and changes in brain architecture. For males, they gain strength, muscle mass, and height. And for females, they experience what we call menarche. Menarche, or the first menstrual period, that signifies the new stage of maturation for girls. Second, we have the cognitive development. Cognitive skills over the adolescent years enables youth to become increasingly capable of managing their own learning and problem solving while also facilitating their identity formation and maturation of moral reasoning. There are increases in adolescents' capacities to think abstractly, considering multiple dimensions of problems, process information, and stimuli more efficiently, and reflect on the self and life experiences. Youth become highly capable of managing their own learning and problem solving while also facilitating their identity formation and maturation of moral reasoning. There are increases in adolescents' capacities to think abstractly. This abstract thinking help them logically and systematically analyze ideas. Third, achievement. For some youth, there is a continued educational growth. They become more competitive in their academic performance, interest, and self-perception. For others also, they experience decline in academic performance, which may lead to academic failure and dropout. Number four, school to work. Some youth who do not enroll in some form of post-secondary education are not only deprived of educational and occupational advancements, but also the developmental moratorium of exploration and experimentation experience by youth in college full-time. Fifth, social relationship. During adolescence, youth also deal with changes in many of their social relationships. These relationships provide opportunities to develop and exercise their personal and social identities and further explore their autonomy. Sixth, family relationship. Family is another institution that often provides youth with important assets for positive development. Families can give youth financial, emotional, and achievement-related support. They provide social capital and act as an important role models. Seven, friendship. Youths increase focus on peer relationships as indicated by increase in both the time they spent with their peers and their engagement in activities with peers. In fact, peer acceptance and time spent in doing activities with peers commonly take precedence over academics during early adolescence and can result in an increase in problem behaviors if youth are subjected to excessive peer pressure. And number eight, romantic partnership. 
during adolescence, peers become romantic partners. Romantic relationships plays a role in identity formation during adolescence by connecting youth with peers and providing them a sense of belongingness and status in their peer groups. In addition, dating and romantic relationships are positively related to feelings of self-worth and general feelings of competence. These are the changes during adolescence. So that ends our discussion for the lesson. Congratulations for doing well. Thank you for listening. Again, I am Teacher Angeline, your guide for this lesson. Goodbye!